other job boards are fine as well. However, though, if you take that VC funding, the fact is you're going to grow. You're going to have to grow really, really quickly. And often methods like this just aren't going to deliver the candidates quickly enough, which means you're going to have to deal with the recruitment agents. Now, <laughs> apologies to any recruitment agents who are in the room, because I'm going to make some very broad brush and very general statements. You're full of shit and you're bastards. <laughs> You know, I can't count the times that I've had Do apologise to any recruiters <laughs> uh, <coughs> or sponsors in the audience. Thank you. You know, I can't count the times that I've had a recruitment agent um, try to get hold of me on the phone telling my PA that um, it's an old school friend, it's somebody I met at a party, it's a family member. You know, these people are completely unscrupulous. Um, however, the good news is it's a high-risk market, and what that means is that we get to play those guys in the same way that they might usually play us. How do we do it? Well, we create a PSL, which means a preferred suppliers list with five people on it. If they want to be on that list, they have to meet our conditions, which is a, max, a, max fixed, a fixed uh, maximum rate of 15%. Um, and we say that to them, if you want to be on it, you send us three good CVs of people that are available to hire right now. And if they don't meet that, then they don't get on the list. Because I guarantee, if they call you, they will send you the crap they've got on the list to try and get rid of them straight away. Then there's interns. You know, can you get an intern to, do, to get something for nothing? The fact of the matter is, yes, you absolutely can. And um, thank you to Songkick, who have kind of, they helped us out with all of this. What I will do afterwards is um, I'll distribute this cheat sheet to Mike, so you've all got this with a bit more information as well. There's, basically, interns is a grey area. You can get people to, and get them to do something for nothing on the proviso that they're learning, on the proviso that you're not holding them to any kind of work contract, and on the proviso that there will be some kind of monetary reward in the future. Now, then there's a downside. You've grown quickly, but you know, people aren't going to be with you forever. So what happens when you have to break up with somebody? Well, the fact of the matter is someone is going to hand you their notice. And the first time it happens, it's absolutely heartbreaking. You know, it's like being told that uh, you know, they don't love you anymore. But the fact is, it's inevitable. It's, it will happen. And if you love them, let them go. You know, because by the time they've handed their notice in to you, their heart is elsewhere. However, you can mitigate this by looking for early signs of unhappiness. You know, as you grow, you need to make sure you have some kind of company um, process and culture in place where you're looking out, you know, where you're having kind of weekly meetings or, or, or fortnightly meetings with the staff. And you'll be able to realise very quickly when people aren't happy and you can act on it. And also, paying vastly below market rate is a false economy. It might get you to where you need to be initially, but as you grow, you'll find that if you're paying below market rate, somebody will pay that market rate and they'll take your staff from you. If you're on the other end and you're actually having to fire somebody, make sure that you're following proper procedure. It might take a little bit longer, but guaranteed it will pay off in the end. And if you don't have somebody who has been on an HR course, send them. Because that course will cost you £1,000, but that could save you £40,000 in legal fees six months down the line. Andrew, it's all gold. Keep going, but we need to wait. This, this is the last point. <laughs> so um, finally, how do you create a place, you know, a place that people would want to come to work to? When we um, set the company up, we always said we wanted this to be a place that we would want to come and work at. Um, some companies have um, dress, dress Down Friday. We sometimes have Dress Up Friday. <laughs> so how do you do it? Well, I, you know, I honestly believe great people and a great atmosphere means you know, you'll have a winning company. You can do that in a few things. Firstly, make everybody a shareholder. When you, um, when you have your company shares, put 10% aside and distribute that across the staff. Make sure that everybody, from the CEO down to the office manager, has a share. That way they'll feel bought in. Invest in a really good coffee machine. We found that our guys were spending between 80 and 90 pounds a day on coffee at the place across the road. By spending um, about one pound 50 on a, a higher uh, coffee machine, you know, it costs them nothing. They love it. Um, get, get a table football table, get a Nintendo Wii, get a breakout area. Because you find that people will leave their desks and they'll actually be creative. They'll be thinking about solving problems without looking at a screen. And all of a sudden, you know, great things begin to happen. Eat together regularly. Go out. We have um, breakfast together every Monday. I know the guys at Songkick, they have dinner together every single night. And what that means is that you're making it feel like a family. And have regular outings with, uh, with your staff and invite the partners along. Make it feel like a family again. Because guaranteed, if you, if you make it feel like a family, your staff won't try to fuck you over because people don't do that to family. And continually... <laughs> <laughs> I have a nice family. And continually, continually ask yourself, it's is this still the place that you would want to work? Because if, if it isn't, then you're doing something wrong. Thank you. Absolutely brilliant, fantastic. Stay there, Annie. Quick, we want to go on. Everybody, this is that was absolutely gold.
Any questions quickly before we next move on to the next speakers because we're actually going to really race through this. Go. Just shout it. Um, but we've been using a company called Guru Light, and they are actually a recruitment company, but they don't charge you a recruitment fee. What they do is they put your advert across all of the major job sites. They then filter the jobs for you into tier one, tier two, tier three, and they don't charge you a recruitment fee, and it's £600 per advert. I'm not affiliated with them. I've used them with great success over the last year and having similar sort of growth that you've had, so I would recommend the Miley Guru Light. Okay. okay, fair point. Any other points, questions? Before we move on... Uh, Andy, that was absolutely fantastic. You've got to grab Andy and talk to him about his, uh, all of that. And what's your Twitter name, by the way? It's uh, Andrew, -E -E -E. Oh, right. <laughs> okay. Thanks, everybody, to Andy from Huddle.